barber since 1968. My dad was a barber, my brother was a barber, my grandma was a beautician, my mom was a beautician. Just kind of running the family and figured, well, why not? The shop was here since 1949. The shop's been here so long and people have been generations of people coming in. Oh, my, my dad used to come here, my grandfather used to come in here. And it, it's kind of like, kind of like a homey feeling, you know? A little dust on the wall, a little dirt on, you know, what are you gonna do? Actually, this place here is kind of like Vegas. What's set in here stays in here. You guys know that. And we actually get some pretty good debates going in here. And everybody kind of interacts. They'll sit down. If they want to talk, we talk. They know I'm not a sports fan, but I'll talk about kids, grandkids, uh, projects at home, and stuff like that. Fred's the sports thing. Tiger just started. He's with uh, Ricky Fowler and Man. And uh, guys are dropping like flies here. Are they? Yeah. I've actually had guys go to sleep. Get relaxed, go to sleep, they just, and they enjoy it. It's uh, kind of like a quiet time for them, so it's, it's cool. I've been cutting hair since 67. Over the years, a guy named Cowboy used to ride his horse up and down the street. We had, uh, this is back in the 80s. Only guy I ever knew they got a drunken driving on a horse. And so back then, it was a little more wide open. Things were happening. It was, there were a lot of interesting things. Everything fits and all of it's put, bought by customers. Their wives tell them to get it out of the house, they're tired of looking at it, so they bring it here. It's, it's neat. I know those guys come in here and they've been coming in for years and there's nobody here and all of a sudden they're looking around, when'd you get that, where'd you get this, when's that? You know, it's only been up there 10, 12, 15, 20 years. One that, to mind is up there, There's a, it's a Teddy Roosevelt bank, the bear sticking out of there. This guy came in one day, and um, he was upset. He, he, and uh, we were talking to him, and I was cutting his hair, and he was telling me, oh, the other barber shop, they kicked me out of there, they didn't like it. And he was a little off, but I mean, he was a nice guy, and he was an old veteran. And one day he walked in, and he brings his bank in, and he goes, I want to give this to you guys, too. I know you got stuff in the shop, but I want to give this to you guys, and I go, you don't have to do that. He goes, well, you're the only guys that really like me that let me come in the barbershop and talk. And this, back then, most guys would come in and they'd get a haircut and they'd sit here two, three hours after and people would come in and they'd sit there and talk to everybody. It was just, like I said, it was a slower pace. People were not in a hurry. And it was more of a meeting place where people would come and talk. I used to do women, not women, no more. Put trim bangs and, and the back a little bit other than that, no. I don't even cut my own wife's hair. Too picky. Oh, well, you need a little more here. Oh, gee, how would that look if I brought the, no, I don't like, you know, no. Zip, you're done. It's cut off. Guys have four or five haircuts. Women have 25, 30 haircuts. All right, I can do that. Look, I got a couple, yeah, I do. All right, have a All great right. Mother's Day. <laughs> Enjoy. You, you, you don't have one boss. Everybody walks in your chair is your, is your boss. And they're going to tell you how they want it. And you, that's what you do. Well, if I do a good job and they're happy, it makes me feel great. You know? But if they, hey, if they don't like it, you don't see them again. So, I mean, it, it, it's fine. I, I just love the work. I like talking to people. It's just, it's fun. We just, we're not here to impress it. We're just here to cut hair. You come in, you get a haircut, we, you know, it's nice. We're not, we're not trying to sell you products. We're not trying to do anything. We just want you to come in, get a nice haircut, feel good when you leave. That's it. See you later. All right.